Hi guys, I hope you're all well. Today I thought I would film my everyday kind of look for you because I just felt so uninspired today. I was like, I want to film a nice look and then I was like, I haven't got a clue what to film. So I thought it would be a good idea to show you the kind of look that I would go for every day and I've been wearing this look quite a lot lately. Um, so yeah, I thought it's always good to show these sort of looks because they're wearable and it's what I really would wear every day. I mean, I would wear all my looks because I love makeup, but this sort of look that I have been wearing quite a lot. Also, have you guys got used to the chickens next door in my videos? Because I haven't. <laughs> they are driving me insane, but there's nothing I can do about it. I mean, it's not like they just make that noise in the morning. They make it all day, all night. They are broken. If you live next door, they're broken. Sort them out, please. Anyway, let's jump straight into this before my throat is like closing up with hay fever. I'm like, so to prime my skin, I'm gonna go in with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I love this because it gives your skin a lovely glow. This smells really fresh. It smells like skincare. Mm, lovely. It smells like it's really like waking you up. Now I'm gonna go in with my foundation. Now, I've used this quite a lot lately, and oh my god, it's nearly all gone. It's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD, and I'm using the shade, it says 123 equals Y365, so I'm not sure what the shade is. I think one of the shades is a new number for it. I think it changed names because they changed it to Ultra HD instead of just HD. Um, I know I've used it a lot, guys, but I just love this foundation. I really need a new one, though, because this is nearly all gone. I hope it fills my face. Ah, let's see. But I just love this. I love it. I just feel like this foundation gives the right amount of coverage that you want all year round. So, next week, I'm having a tattoo done. That's right. It's that time of year. The skin is coming out, even though the weather's shit. Um, but yeah, I'm getting a new tattoo and I'm really excited. I'll reveal all once I've had it done. By the way, I've got my brows on. I used the Dip Brow Pomade in Taupe from Anastasia, as virtually always. Um, but I just thought I'd put it on first because it saves optimal filming time. So for concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Age Rewind in Light What's New. Seriously, this is everyday look though. I'm not gonna be using new products on everyday life. And in a V shape under my eyes to brighten. A bit in between the forehead, a bit there on the nose, the cupid's bow and the chin, just to bring all those features forward. And then I'm just going to blend it out with my foundation brush. So I'm just blending this out by just pressing it into the skin. And then when I, I don't wipe, I go... I think making that sound makes you understand what I'm doing, right? <laughs> Nope. And then I'm just going to set that with a little bit of the Laura Mercier um, Secret Brightening Powder. Today I'm just going to dust it under the eyes. Now I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer in Bronze. I'm going to be using the Hula Brush to apply this. A bit controversial, not using Hula with the Hula Brush, but I do love Hula too, so... But I just feel like using this colour because it's nice and warm, like a warm bronzer. Um, but I'm still going to put it in the contour areas. I'm super excited to get my tattoo. I can't wait. I've had quite a lot of... I'm having quite a rough time at the moment, to be honest. Um, so it's nice to have something to look forward to. But yeah, I'm just putting this around the top of my forehead. So what have you guys been up to? Have you got any holidays booked? We're hoping to book a holiday today. We're actually waiting for an email back from the hotel because I want to see if it's accessible, first of all. Which is so annoying. Like, I have to think about all these silly things like, is the hotel going to have wheelchair access? Am I going to be able to uh, get in the shower? <laughs> Obviously, if I can't, I wouldn't book it, but um, 
they make it so difficult like it's something so simple but they make it hard now for highlight i'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to mix the two highlighters together, Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop because I like Champagne and Prosecco. I'm not sure if I've had it in the same glass before but we can just put it on our faces instead. This brush, I washed it yesterday and it's got all funny shape. <laughs> it's the Morphe M501 brush, it's usually more tapered than this. It now looks like a giant E40 brush. Anyway, I'm popping this on the highest points of the cheekbones. Um, I'm sorry this video is all over the place. Like I said, I feel like I've been in a weird mood lately. I think it's because I'm just going through stuff. And it's making me a bit delirious, but it's probably fun for video purposes. <laughs> so I'm going to run that around there like this. Put it on Cuba's bow. And then whatever's left around here, just because I want to look glowy. Back in the same palette, I'm going to go in with the shimmery pink blush, which is called Rose Rose Spritz. It's going to smile a little bit. I always look like I'm going, hmm, that smells bad. Hmm. <laughs> and then work back to the hairline. This palette just makes me want to have a drink. Prosecco, Champagne, Rosé. What are the other names? Amaretto. Now onto the eyes and I'm going to be using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I am obsessed with this palette. I've been using it like every day, obviously. Um, I've done a look with it um, a couple of weeks ago. But that was a bit more dramatic. This is my everyday look that I've been creating with this look. And to start, I'm going to go in with Golden Ochre. Because that is a, is a great base to start with. Um, hopefully you can see that. Um, because it's a great starting point, really. Because it's just a real light gold. So it's just, it, you know, it's like prepping the eye for something amazing. <laughs> so I'm just popping that in the crease and the upper crease area. Like I usually do. I always love to have like this sort of shade or a lighter sort of shade to what the rest of the colours are going to be to transition all the other shades and to, you know, like I say, prep the eye for something magical. <laughs> I feel like I couldn't do this without this amazing brush. <laughs> you can't really go wrong with this shade because it's so um, light. But it's creamy and it blends wonderfully. Now underneath that I'm going to go in with Raw Sienna which is the shade under the white and using the same brush I'm going to go over where we have just been through that crease and I like to bring it out to the tail of my brow so once you've blended all of this together I'm now going to go onto the base of the lid colour I am going to put one more colour in the crease but I'm going to put the, my base on first so all over the base of the lid, I'm going to be applying Primavera, which is the shimmery gold shade. This is just a really nice, I think this is such a nice summer look. Now on the inner corner and the brow bone, I'm going to be putting on Vermeer, which is above Primavera. Now I'm going to add burnt orange to the crease and this time I'm going to be using a smaller bl blending brush and this is an E25 from Sigma. So I'm going to keep this mainly in the crease this time. Now I'm going to use that burnt orange shade and run it on the lower lash line and I'm going to connect to that upper shadow too. And to blend that even more I'm just going to pop a little bit of that burnt orange on the outer corner of the eye so then all those blend together nicely. So the on the lid just a little bit on the outer corner. 
just going to grab my E40 brush again, not put anything else on it, and just blend through the crease and all around the eye just to make sure everything looks nice. So sometimes I'll put on liquid eyeliner and sometimes I won't. Don't know whether to today. I think I will because I'm filming. I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. And hopefully I'm just going to create a basic wing, but we'll see how that goes. <laughs> So I'm going to be putting on some mascara and I'm just going to be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Now for lips, I'm going to go in with one from Anastasia and it's the liquid lipstick in Crush. So that's the final look guys, just something simple and everyday and easy to achieve. All of us can achieve it, you don't have to do the wings if you don't want to. I don't always, but I just thought for the video I would. Um, but yeah, I hope you like this look um, and that you're having a good day so far. And if you like this then please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more from moi. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon.